Hi there, Rich Crescenti here with another in our series of videos, Making Music with Melodyne. And today what we're gonna be focusing on is basic pitch correction, specifically regarding lead vocals, which is almost always what people find themselves doing with Melodyne. And I'm gonna show you some tricks and tips that I use to help ensure fast, accurate, musical pitch correction for your voice. Okay, so first things first, I wanna point out something in the upper left hand side right here. I want to point out that I have Melodyne instantiated on the lead vocal, but I also have it instantiated on the acoustic guitar and on the piano as well. Now you could just put it on your vocal and Melodyne can still gather pitch information from that vocal, but that's not a lot of information to go off of and it leaves it more open to interpretation than I would like. So although I'm not gonna do anything to the guitar or the piano, I will often put Melodyne on there as well, as now we have a much more complete picture of this song. Having those other instruments in there makes it easier for Melodyne to determine what notes will work in the song and what won't, the key of the song. A lot of other information that we will need and will make it easier for us to make choices when it comes to moving notes around. Okay. So today we're going to be working with this song uh, by Eric Myers and the Rev called Whiskey Rebellion. Let's give it a listen. From walking in the sun, drinking and picking what we call fun, that's right. We do it every night. Okay, great. It's a super fun song. I like working on this tune. Uh, it's a good vocal performance that has a lot of energy that I like. But as you can see from listening to this uh, and looking, there are some areas that need some some pitch correction on there to give it the kind of professional treatment that it needs and that it deserves. So when it comes to pitch correction, I generally find myself in one of two scenarios. Uh, scenario number one is where I've just recorded the vocals and now I need to immediately record some background vocals to go along with it. And in this case, this would be tough for our background vocalist because this vocal is not always on pitch where it needs to be. And I don't have time to go in and do the kind of nuanced pitch correction that this song really needs. I just need something fast. So this is where our pitch macro becomes very, very useful. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these notes right here and come up to this button, which is our pitch macro. And when I open this up, I wanna point out that what this has, it has two sliders, pitch center, which is just based on the absolute pitch of the note, and then pitch drift. Now, for those of you that don't know, Drift is the slow sliding up into or out of a note. Uh, you could think of it as a counterpart to fast, faster pitch changes, which is often called modulation or vibrato. So this macro gives you control over all these notes. Since I highlighted them all, I can just quickly put those pitches right on center and get rid of that drift, like so. And now when we listen. Made from working in the sun. All right, we heard a little note there that we didn't necessarily like. Let me check it. That one, I wanted to have that a little bit up from where it should be right there. Put it there. Let's give this a listen. This gives our vocalist a much more accurate, quick way to lay down some vocals on top of this, and they have a good reference point to start to. If something went to the wrong note, you could correct it. If you needed to correct a bunch of notes, you could easily just highlight a bunch of notes like that and move them where they needed to go. But this is a very fast way to work. When you're done, you can simply go in and turn that off and all the notes will go back to where they were before. And you can do some surgery if you need to. Although oftentimes when it comes to general pitch correction, I find that this pitch center will do a lot of the heavy lifting for me and I can kind of get that to the point where everything still sounds good without being too on. And then I can go in and change individual notes as they need to. Okay, scenario number two is when I wanna go in and do some of that fine tuning that I was talking about earlier. Uh, maybe I've got a note like this one right here. This is the word sun, give this a listen. From walking in the sun, drinking it. You can hear that he swings up into that note right there, right? Then he goes a little sharp, then a little flat, then a little sharp, but he finds it right there. I want to take this note and I want to have it, the pitch correction be better for it, but I don't want to lose the character of it. And I don't want it to sound phony. So there's a couple of other tools that we have right here to help with this. Check this out. First things first, I'm going to swing over to my pitch tool and just double click on this note. And that moves it right to the D that it is supposed to be. 
we still see that it swings low right there. And this is that drift I was talking about earlier. So for this one note, I'm gonna come to my drift and just drag that down until pretty much everything is right on the note right there. And you may have to experiment a little bit with that, but I can move that right to the center right there. And then I might wanna give it a little more attitude, right? So I'll come to my pitch modulation, which is like the vibrato, and drag that up a little bit. And now what we get is... Bed from working in the sun. All right, now we've got a performance that has a little attitude, but it is right on pitch where it needs to be. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks.